In this video, let's discuss one of the interview questions about hold fixing. So we have been told that there is a minus 40 picosecond hold violation on the FF2 D pin on the timing path which starts from FF1 clock pin and ends in the FF2 D pin. And we have to fix this hold violation by inserting a hold buffer somewhere on this timing path. And we have to come up with the best location to add this hold buffer on this path. So let's say that to fix the hold violation of minus 40 picoseconds, we are using a hold buffer which will add a delay of 50 picoseconds in the min corner or the hold corner. So the same buffer will be slower in the max corner or the setup corner. So let's say that the same buffer will have a 75 picoseconds delay in the max corner. So when we add this buffer to fix the hold violation, we have to make sure that the setup slack or the setup margin of all the timing paths which go through this buffer is at least 75 picoseconds. Otherwise, this buffer addition will cause setup timing violations in our design. So based on this information, let's try to understand where we can add this buffer. So in this diagram, we see that we have a total of three timing paths which end in the FF2 D pin. So the first is our original path with the hold violation from FF1 to FF2. We have another path which starts from the FF1 clock pin and takes a different route and ends up again in the FF2 D pin. And we have a third path which starts from the FF3 clock pin and it again ends up in the FF2 D pin. So let's say that the setup margin or the setup slack on our original blue path is plus 100 picoseconds in the max corner. Let's say that the setup slack on the green path, which is slightly longer, is plus 50 picoseconds in the max corner. And the setup slack on the FF3 to FF2 timing path is, let's say, plus 60 picoseconds. So if we place our hold buffer anywhere on this red section, then it will cause setup timing violation on our yellow path because we only have 60 picoseconds of setup margin but this delay buffer adds 75 picoseconds of delay. Again, if we add our whole buffer right at the Q pin of the FF1 flop then it will cause setup timing violation on our green path because we do not have enough setup margin or setup slack on this path. So the best location to add this whole buffer will be point A or point B because that way the timing on the green and yellow paths won't be impacted and we will still be able to fix the minus 40 picoseconds hold violation on the blue timing path. So whenever inserting buffers for hold fixing or even setup fixing on data path or on clock paths, we always prefer to add the buffers in the location which is least disruptive to any other timing paths in the design.